so basically if we talk about socket then we can write some important point first that uh, sockets are sockets are the end points of sockets are the end points of two way communication two way communication right between two processes between two processes or you can say that between two different systems or two different applications or two different network devices like that on the same or different machines on the same or different machines point number 2 is <coughs> sockets used sockets used in client server application in client server application so client server application we have delete delete in tcp part that uh, that client want to establish the connection with server then server will send the http reply and thereafter that the query will be sended and uh, then connection will be closed so it is like client server application right so sockets will use in client server application framework it allows communication between it allows communication between two different processes two different processes it provides it provides means of it provides means of ipc that is inter process communication that is inter process communication right sockets provides sockets provides bidirectional bidirectional fifo communication facility that is first in first out sockets provides bidirectional fifo communication fifo communication facility over the network over the network right normally the socket address is normally the socket address is basically a uh, combination of ip address plus port number right so it is very important part that is socket is nothing but it is a combination of pri uh, ip address plus port number right so normally you know the ip address is basically consisted of 32 bits and the range of port numbers are 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power 16 so basically port numbers are 16 bit addresses right so socket address will be basically 48 bit address 32 plus 16 that is 40 bit address it will be because ip address is 32 bit address and port number is having range from 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power uh, 16 right so total will be 48 bit so socket address will con contain 48 bit now practically let's say here it is a application 1 right let's say it is a pc okay and uh, let's say it is having socket address of particular port let's say it is having a socket address uh, let's say 192.168.1.1 it is the ip address n port number 80 port number 80 means http port number for http hypertext transfer protocol correct 
now let me try to make application 2 so let's say it is application 2 so if it is application 2 it will also have a IP address let's say 192.168.1.2 uh, uh, let's say and uh, let's say it is having port number 100 so it might be port of any other any other uh, other thing right for any particular purpose so we are having here this is a socket address and this is also socket address right what they are these are socket address this is also socket address for device 2 now let's say that uh, this is a application 1 system 1 and this is application 2 let's say system 2 correct now they are connected via internet let's say they are connected via internet right like this they are connected via internet both the applications might be on different networks anywhere and they are connected like this so the diagram depicts that two different processes are communicating with each other application 1 and application 2 two different processes are communicating with each other uh, using sockets using sockets using sockets uh, two different processes are communicating with each other let's say it is a host site it is a host site and let's say it is a server side right so basically IP address will be mentioned there and thereafter port number IP address will be mentioned there and thereafter port number so that the processes will communicate port to port the processes will work exactly exactly processor will work exactly on the port level right so that let's say we have downloaded a file so we are going to download the file using FTP protocol that is file transfer protocol we have discussed and there are also two type of port port number 20 that is for control and port number 21 for downloading the file so port number 21 is used for downloaded the file and let's say that downloaded file is video file so if it is a video file then particular video format that particular video port is going to work for that that is called as port to port right so there are there are two types of sockets there are two types of sockets right uh, the first is datagram socket first one is datagram socket and the second one is stream socket second one is stream socket so in uh, datagram socket in datagram socket right what will happen that uh, it will be connectionless you know connectionless means no connection establishment will be there it is connectionless point for it is connectionless point for sending and receiving packets sending and receiving the packets right the second type is stream socket second one is stream so stream itself clear the meaning what do we mean by stream that particular stream is there flow of stream right so stream socket means inter process communication sockets so <coughs> they are connection oriented they are connection oriented and sequenced in sequenced manner communication will be performed and unique flow of data will be there <coughs> unique flow of data right. similar to smartphones whatever i am talking at the same time you are listening in the unique format right so that basically sequenced kind of data right 
that would be flow now some important methods that we need to know under this socket things that uh, let's say here it is a server side let's say it is a server side where some processes are there socket basically having ip address and port number then one thing is bind we are going to have one method that is listen we are having one method which is accept we are having one more method that is rece recv and send and close these are methods present at server side at server side using socket and and at client side let me try to make so at client side we are having socket and we are having here connect we are having here send we are having here receive we are having here close right so basically accept is there which is going to map with connect here receive is going to map with send here send is going to map here with receive and close is going to map with close now socket basically socket address for server that on which port server want to connect and client is also having socket that which let's say it is want to connect with server let's say client want to connect with google.com www.google.com obviously it will use http as a protocol for it and http is having port number 80 so along with the client's ip address port number 80 will be added and on server side server will have some some ip address that is equivalent uh, mapping of this url uniform resource locator every url is having some ip address side right? so along with that on which port we are going to work that will be added here and they are going to work port to port so bind is going to work basically just like uh, socket identification it is just like a socket identification it is just like socket identification listen is there so listen means it is ready to receive listen method will be used for it is ready to receive accept method is for confirmation that whatever process is there confirmation correct connect it means that it is ready to connect it is ready to act as a sender and uh, accept is for confirmation right thereafter we are having send it means that after connecting it may send their request and recv that is for receiving to receive to receive data on client side recv method will be used and uh, <clears throat> if uh, server want to send server want to receive some query it will re use with recv method send will be used here to send the data to send the data to send the data to any client and basically close will be used to close the connection to close the connection between server and client side by communicating and if after complete communication will be performed then they are going to close the connection so basically these are some important uh, methods under sockets that we have a knowledge of it right basically it is a theoretical topic so the thing is that socket is nothing but a combination of ip address plus uh, port address so that if any device from any particular machine to other machine or inside the same machine want to communicate with each other they are going to talk with sockets sockets are very important part that are having ip address that is having a combination of ip address plus port number and for inter process communication and uh, that may be on the same machine and that may be on the different machine they may use and these are some of the methods that are used under sockets right so i hope the concept of sockets are clear